Hi, my name is Richard Curtis. I'm a solutions consultant here at Adobe and I have a focus on digital imaging. The content aware tools keep getting more refined the more releases we go on with Photoshop. And this release doesn't really disappoint. The content aware fill, patch, move and extend have all been extended to include a new color feature. Traditionally, when you're using the content aware patch tools and you try and replace an area where maybe a gradient exists, like a sky or grass or sea or something like that, it looks at the texture and the lighting but doesn't really look at the color. In this version of Photoshop, we now have an ability to look at the color as well as the texture and the lighting and to make sure that actually the patch works really well with what you're trying to fix. So let's have a look at it now and so you can see um, how it works. Okay, I'm just going to open this image here. I'm in Camera Raw and I'm just going to press the Shift key and open this up into Photoshop with a smart object. So you can see here it's a shot of these um, divers that I shot in India. And when I framed the scene up, um, I got the divers in place where I wanted them and everything was right. Then when I took the picture, there's a, a head pop in the corner of the frame, just here. So to get rid of that traditionally, we would create a new layer and then go into the Content Aware Patch Tool by selecting the Patch Tool, making sure the Patch Tool is in Content Aware mode, and then we have the Adaption. Now, this is the uh, same as in the old version, just looks a little bit different because we've now got the color uh, information here as well. I'm going to use this little icon uh, and turn it on uh, this makes sure that I'm going to pick up the pixels from all of the layers um, in my layers palette to sample the um, pixels from. But I'm going to replace, um, but the pixels I'm going to replace, I'm going to place on the empty layer and not on the um, background layer. This saves me from having to duplicate the layers and all that kind of stuff. You can see there, when I let go of my pen, it does a really good job of blending that in, but not the color information. So I keep that selection active and go to the adaption and go to the color here and go to the color entry here. I can put a value of zero to 10 in. This will change depending on how much color I need to sample. But while that selection is still active, I can go in and put a value. I'm gonna try it with three first of all. And you can see it does a pretty good job. I can increase that to 10 if it's more complex. Um, but you see I've got a pretty good patch there for that area of the picture now. I'm quite happy I can continue my retouching. So I hope you agree that's a great feature and will save you a lot of time when you're retouching your pictures. So thanks for watching and goodbye.